As per many requests, I've been asked to demonstrate to play the song or tab it out, and I'm just way too lazy to tab it out, so... Uh, first and foremost, obviously, the guitar has no frets, so I'm gonna have to call these out. Uh, so let's do this. Okay, so this is Night Lies by Bang Camaro. And it starts off, it's a pedaling off of the E, so pretty much every other note you're gonna be pedaling off that E. It's the 10th fret, so 3, 5, 7, 9, 10. And you're starting on the 2nd string, so it's pedaling off the E. You're going to hammer onto that. Then you're going to go down a string, same frets. So it's... Now, I would position your hand a little better, like if you're more comfortable with your ring finger and your pinky finger. I'm personally not, so I play it like this. But you're going to skip back two frets and up a string. So you're going to be here on the 5th... No, the 7th fret, sorry. you're going to go to the 7th fret on the E string as opposed to the D string. So you're actually skipping to go up one fret here to the 8th. So what, so what we have so far is this. So the next part of that's going to be Starting on the 7th fret of the A string, you're going to hit that twice, and you're going to go down to the 10th fret of the E string, so you're going to go back up there. So it's da, da, da. Um, Now you're going to go, what I do is I bar onto the D string, because it's the same fret on the D string as it was on the A string. frets of the A string here, so, whoops, so, again, the whole riff is, and on to speed, now, the next part of that is going to be down here. So right after you go, you're going to go to the third fret. So open three five. Whoops. Yeah, there it is. Open three five, and then bar that with your pinky, so you can hit the fifth fret of the A string. So that's going to be. Then you're going to do that starting on the third fret. You're going to go up here to the A string on the 2nd fret, from, and then 5th slide up to 7th. So that riff would be... Damn it. Now what I'm strumming here is... One more time. And for the main riff, it would be. And that's pretty much the introductory riff. It's going to change a little bit. Um, going to change a little bit throughout the thing, but we'll get to that. So after the, do a standard bar, like a E power chord. So your, uh, but your left hand is going to be up here. Like you can do that. I just pedal off the E. They like to pedal off the E for this song. But that's going to be up here. You're going to start on the 12th fret of the 
is that the B string? I'm not really sure. I don't know. It's sounding really stupid now, but this would be your second string and your third string would be on 14. So it's 12 and 14, you're going to strike it and bend up so that the pitches match. You're going to go up two frets and do that again. Up one fret. And then on there, you're going to go... So that would be, see that's 13 and 15, so 15, 13, pull off, and then again on the second string, so you're going on your first string, 15 to 13, 15 to 13, and then up to 17. Alternate method would be to do it all on your 15, but I do it the, uh, just because it's so fast. So the whole riff again is starting on that 12th fret and the 14th fret of your second string you know, then up to the 14 and 16, then up to the 15 and 17. So the whole thing is going to sound like this. that the camera view is bad there. It's very uncomfortable since my laptop is the uh, camera up here, but I'll try to get it up a little higher so you can see that. Now you're going to go, it's going to sound, the first part is just like the first riff. You're starting on the tenth fret here on the second, or the fifth string, second from the top, so it would be your A string. But instead of going over here, instead of going down, you're actually going to go up uh, to the D string for that 7th fret hit. So it's going to be open. So that's the same as your main riff there. I'm getting a weird vibration in my bridge. Um, So it's all on those two frets, just different strings. So we've got open, then it's going to be power chord of 5 and 7 slide up to 7 and 9, so then up from, or up to 10 to 12, back down to the 5 and 7, so it's going to be, hit and vibrato on that 5th fret, if you want to have the, you know, show off and you have a tremolo, you could hit the open on the D string and, and do your whammy bar thing, but <coughs> if you don't, like I do, it would be that 5th fret on the A string, so that riff would sound like, like Now the, four, the third time through there's a harmony, so 